go over there, Ariana TV. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Misak from Ariana International TV channel. Uh, NATO and the USA uh, ties BSA and SOFA together, yeah. but NATO seems in hurry. Uh, what if the USA and Afghan government agree to postpone signing the BSA after elections? Uh, will NATO wait, and what is the latest development on SOFA and BSA? Um, there is a clear connection um, between the bilateral security agreement and a NATO status of forces uh, agreement. Um, many provisions um, in those agreements will, will be um, uh, the same. Um, so if there is no signature on the bilateral security agreement, we can't finalize uh, a NATO status of forces agreement. And this is why it is urgent to sign the bilateral security agreement, because we also need some time uh, to plan uh, the resolute support uh, mission. And uh, you shouldn't forget that um, countries that contribute troops and trainers to the resolute support mission from 1st of January 2015 need to go through time-consuming parliamentary procedures as well as budgetary procedures. There are many elements in that planning. So while I'm not prepared to, to set a fixed date as a deadline, I have to stress that time is of the essence and time is gradually running out um, because uh, if... A legal framework is not in place from the 1st of January 2015. We can't deploy troops. We can't have equipment uh, in Afghanistan. So in that case, we also have to plan how to withdraw everything uh, before the end of 2014. So this is a reason why all ministers in today's meeting sent a very, very clear message to the Afghan uh, government uh, that it is a matter of urgency uh, to sign the bilateral security agreement. NPR. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, Jim Dobbins, the State Department's uh, special rep on Afghanistan, arrived back in Kabul this morning um, as part of, I guess, what are regular consultations, but he, of course, will also be discussing the BSA. Are you worried about any particular aspects of the draft, as you know it, that might be renegotiated, that might have an impact on SOFA? And... Um, the U.S. is now suggesting that somebody other than President Karzai could sign uh, the BSA. It, would that also be all right with, with NATO for its SOFA? Could someone else sign it? Thanks. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm not concerned at all uh, regarding the contents uh, of the bilateral security uh, agreement, and I feel confident that whatever uh, might be agreed upon uh, between uh, the American uh, government and the Afghan government um, uh, would also be uh, acceptable uh, to um, uh, countries that would operate under a NATO status of forces uh, agreement. Uh, next, uh, on who can, who can sign, um, I would say um, everyone who is authorized uh, to represent uh, respective governments uh, would be able uh, to sign uh, such an agreement. AP. <clears throat> Secretary General, um, we were hoping to be able to speak to the Afghan uh, ministers, um, but apparently that's not going to work out. So I'd like to ask you, did you have any encouraging signs from them during this meeting today about the prospect that uh, President Karzai or someone else might actually sign? Is there any progress made during this meeting towards an eventual signing of the BSA? Um, the ministers uh, didn't uh, indicate anything as regards uh, timelines um, as far as the bilateral security agreement is, is concerned. Uh, but in general, uh, we heard encouraging uh, briefings uh, from uh, the ministers. Um, uh, they are clearly in favor uh, of starting 
uh, negotiations uh, on a NATO status of forces agreement as soon as possible. Uh, and the Minister uh, of uh, Interior uh, gave us uh, encouraging information about the preparations uh, for uh, the presidential elections uh, next year. Uh, so I take it for granted uh, that the presidential elections uh, will be carried out uh, in a way uh, that is uh, free, fair, uh, transparent, inclusive, and within the timetable that has already uh, been agreed. So overall, absolutely uh, encouraging uh, briefings, uh, but no final statements uh, on uh, the bilateral security agreement timelines. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for now. The Secretary General will be back after the NATO Georgia Commission for one last press conference. Thank you.